Bull Bull dropped all the way down to the 44th pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, even though he was 7 foot 2 and had good potential. He is one of the most unique players in the league, and in his rookie season, he showed flashes of promising shooting and scoring abilities. It seemed like the Nuggets got a steal, but why hasn't Bull Bull reached his potential? Things have been quiet around him, and I'm going to uncover the truth. Let's figure out exactly what happened to Bull Bull. Bull Bull is the son of former NBA player Manute Bull. Manute is known as one of the tallest players in NBA history, standing at 7 feet and 7 inches tall and having a wingspan of 8 foot 6. He led the NBA in blocks two times while racking up 5 and 4 blocks in those two seasons. He also made an all-defensive team in one year, and that's very impressive for a player that only averaged 19 minutes a game for his career. Bull Bull started climbing the ladder of young NBA prospects ever since high school. He climbed so high that he was a 5-star recruit and projected to go top 3 in the draft only behind Zion Williamson and John Morant. In December 12, 2018, Bull Bull injured his left foot and was out for the remainder of the season. He declared for the NBA draft and was still projected to be a top 10 pick. He had suffered a major injury, so drafting him would definitely be a risk, but what if he gets fully healthy again? There is so much potential in Bull Bull, and a team would have to secure him early in the draft, right? Not only did he fall past the lottery, but he also fell past the first round and was drafted with the 44th pick in the draft by the Miami Heat. His draft rights were traded to the Denver Nuggets, but you could tell that he wasn't too happy that he fell that late in the draft. Of course he was happy to get drafted, but falling that late gave him tons of motivation. Every team passed up on him, and some teams passed up on him multiple times. He was a project with high potential and low risk. He signed a cheap two-way contract with the Denver Nuggets and spent some time in the G League to develop. He finally made his NBA debut in the NBA bubble on August 1, 2020. He played in 7 of the 8 regular season games left and averaged 6 points per game with 3 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 block and he only played 12 minutes per game throughout that stretch. The media saw a 7 foot 2 player handle the ball a little bit and showed flashes of a good shooting and scoring ability, so they had to post highlights and maybe he was going to be another unicorn in the NBA. Early on in the bubble, the Nuggets ran a tall ball lineup that the Nuggets haven't experimented with at all throughout the season. The lineup consisted of Nikola Jokic at the 1, Jeremy Grant at the 2, Bull Bull at the 3, Paul Millsap at the 4, and Mason Plumlee at the 5. The 8 game stretch was there so teams could ramp it up just before the playoffs. So what was Denver doing? Many fans thought they were experimenting with different lineups because things had changed since the last time they played, which was over 4.5 months before. There were even some fans that thought they were going to revolutionize basketball. It ended up getting leaked that the Denver Nuggets began with only 8 players in the bubble and they were forced to make a lineup with what they had. They weren't experimenting or trying to pave a new path, they had no other option. Players were either injured, stuck with health and safety protocols, or arrived late to the bubble. Bull Bull didn't get much playing time, but it didn't take a lot for him to get noticed. As players started joining the Nuggets, Bull Bull got less and less playing time. In the playoffs, he continued to show what he could do in the future, even though he was stuck only playing 5.5 minutes per game. In the playoffs, the Nuggets came back from two back-to-back 3-1 deficits and ended up losing in the conference finals to the soon-to-be champion Lakers. This was a team that had surpassed their expectations, and the best part about it was that they were a young team. Bull Bull was going to be a part of the Nuggets' bright future, or at least that's what we thought. In the 2021 NBA season, Bull Bull averaged only 5 minutes a game and played in 32 total games. He only played in garbage minutes, or in other words, the Nuggets were either up 20 or down 20 with a few minutes left in the game, so he wouldn't make an impact. The media had nothing to report on with regards to Bull Bull, and things got very quiet. Just before the season, the Nuggets lost Jeremy Grant, Torrey Craig, and Mason Plumlee while only adding Jamichael Green. That is, two missing roster spots at or near Bull's position, so Denver fans were upset when they didn't see him get many minutes. In the playoffs, even though key players were injured, Bull Bull hardly played at all. 
he showed up in three games that were blowouts. His total minutes in the 2021 playoffs were less than six minutes throughout 10 games. In the 2021 offseason, the Nuggets lost Paul Millsap and JaVale McGee and replaced him with only Jeff Green. That is another offseason where roster spots are available for Bull Bull to fill in, but he just isn't getting the minutes. So far this season, he is playing even less than ever before at 4.6 minutes per game. During that one game this season against the Heat, Jokic and Markeith Morris got into it and Eric Spolstra chose Bull Bull to shoot free throws. Eric Spolstra has a chance to pick from the Nuggets bench to shoot the free throws and here comes Bull He didn't look too happy as one of the only times he got to get quality minutes was because of the other team's coach. Wait a minute, sorry, he didn't get any playing time. Right after he shot the free throws, Coach Malone subbed him off right away. A concern about Bull Bull is if he can consistently produce on a contending team like the Denver Nuggets, but there's only one way to find out, and that's for him to play impactful minutes. So far, Denver has not done so, and this begs the question, why is Bull Bull even on the Nuggets if he hardly gets playing time? Bull Bull is only 22 years old and still has tons of time ahead of him. He is one of a kind, and if given the proper opportunity, he could fulfill his potential. And as of right now, that has been a big mystery. So far this season, the Nuggets have been battling through many injuries, and they are relying on Jokic, Gordon, and Paul Millsap to help will them to a win. Millsap, Morris, Barton, and Gordon are often playing over 30 minutes a night, while Bull Bull is sitting on the bench ready to make an impact. Bull Bull has low stock, so there isn't much of a risk and there is a high reward. I can see many teams giving Bull Bull minutes and seeing how good he really is. He is on a cheap 2 year $4.2 million contract so his salary isn't going to be a problem either. You can't expect Bull Bull to develop that well if he doesn't even get quality minutes in the league. If the Nuggets don't plan on keeping Bull Bull for the future, instead of him sitting on the bench, they could give him some playing time to raise his stock and then flip him for different pieces. After this season, we will see what is next for Bull Bull. He will become a restricted free agent in the offseason and there are other teams out there that want him. He has a ton of potential and we might be seeing a resurgence in his career if he gets the minutes he deserves. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I read every single comment so let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe for future basketball content and thank you for watching.